Soldiers killed as they practice for the D-Day landings are finally being commemorated. Blueprints for each soldier have been laid on the beach at Slapton Sands where they died. Well, our next guest is former British Army Colonel Ash Alexander Cooper, and he's in the studio. Good to see you this morning. 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 Well, why is it? I mean, we, we talked about it on the show yesterday, Slaps and Sounds. I have to say, I haven't heard about it at all. Why is it not a, a clearer part of our history? Well, this is one of the, the interesting issues with it. It's because it happened so close to the D-Day landings themselves, it, was, uh, it had to be hushed up. Allied commanders decided that the risk of people knowing too much about the losses that took place on this day uh, 75 years ago, uh, that could have a very damaging effect on, on the morale of the troops that were preparing for D-Day. So for decades it was hushed up and even the families themselves weren't aware exactly what had happened to their loved ones who died on that day. Tell us the, the story of what, what did actually happen. So as, as you'd imagine, a lot of preparation went into the D-Day landings themselves and uh, both the, the British, American and all the Allied troops were, were practicing um, mainly in the UK. And as the Americans were transferring on a Royal Navy uh, vessel um, between two points, uh, some German E-boats uh, attacked, sadly uh, lost their lives. Um, there were other tragedies, you know, in the, in the build-up to the event, but um, you know, now is obviously the time to really make sure that we recognise the sacrifices, not only of those, but the, the 22,763 others who also died on D-Day itself and, uh, and the subsequent battle for Normandy. 763, yeah. Heck. What do you make of the of, of the the way it's being commemorated and the, and the footprint? You've got a footprint image with you. I mean, it, I, it, to me, it's quite poignant. It doesn't, in a way, look a great deal in itself, but the, the sort of symbolism of a footprint on sand, which will just get washed away. Yeah, it's pretty. We think it's very poignant. I mean, this is building on from the work that uh, Martin Burrow, our, our, the, the artist, did last year with our Tommy silhouettes that you probably saw around yes, um, the country, which really captured the hearts of the nation. We had over 5,000 communities, um, you know, uh, buying them and placing them, and 80,000 smaller Tommies in people's homes. So this year, uh, with D-Day being a uh, huge focus in June, we wanted to make sure that we found an equally evocative way of commemorating and, and uh, you know, making sure others knew the sacrifices that took place across all the nations that supported us um, in that war. And how long will this installation be in situ? Well, the, because it's a beach and high tide and low tide, I mean, these things will, will uh, wash away. But we're, we're urging people to either you know, purchase these boot prints for themselves and you can have them named with, with those names of those that died um, or, or other family members if you have them. Uh, but also boot prints can be purchased as well. Um, these are 29 99 and the boots are only four, four pounds each for a pair of, of uh, vinyl uh, stickers that we're hoping communities like last year will, will embrace and place around the country as a way to commemorate. Which is interesting, isn't it, in terms... Of, I mean, obviously, raising money for charity is, is always a good thing, and the, the, the money that goes towards. But it's it's got to be more about the recognition as well, hasn't it? The fact that, that for, for the people of those who were lost, um, getting that sense of recognition is important, isn't it? Uh, they, as we speak, you know, the boot prints are on the sand in... Uh, uh, in uh, Devon, and the families of those uh, family, uh, family members of those who were lost are attending a memorial later on with the U.S. ambassador and some serving soldiers as well who are based in that in that area. Um, and it's about making sure that this, these memories aren't lost. And so, remembered charity, uh, the remembered charity's uh, aim really is to commemorate, educate, and heal. So we're obviously commemorating last year the First World War, this year uh, D-Day, educating people about what actually happened in some of these cases, and then healing, uh, finding ways to make sure that we look after those that are still you know, bearing the scars, physical or mental, from their service. Um, and that's really important to us. It, is, it isn't a point in time. We have to continue supporting those in need.